Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'm gonna be upcycling another shop vac that I have. If you missed this first upcycle, please check that out. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing something very simple. I'm just gonna be taking the motor off, which no longer runs, throwing that part out. I'm gonna be redoing this bottom part. Um, I have an upstairs terrace garden, and I figured this would make a really nice container. I have potatoes that I have in mind for this. So the first thing is gonna be taking this part off, taking the bottom outside, cleaning it up. Um, there is a craftsman label on it that I'm gonna be removing. Um, you don't have to. You can leave that on if it doesn't bother you, but um, for this purpose, I am gonna take it off. What I did the last time, oh, that's I painted on. All right, well, I'm gonna have to get creative. I might have to paint over that and then put writing over it. So um, the last one that I just did had a label that was stuck on. I took a blowtorch to it, heated it up. You could use like a hairdryer, anything like that to heat it up and then take it off. You're left with a sticky mess, so then you have to use Goo Gone or some other product to get that off. Um, but what I did to conceal where that label was, was put stickers over it. And I really like how it looks, so it gives it color. So the first thing, like I said, I'm gonna do, take this outside, clean it, um, figure out what to do with that label, and then I will be back to show you the next step. I'm on to the next part, which is figuring out a creative way to cover up that Craftsman label. I heated it up, I tried nail polish remover, pretty much nothing's gonna touch it, so then plan B is to cover it up. Because of the oval shape of the shop vac, I can't really put anything flat on it, so I tried looking around at material that I have that maybe I could make some kind of a label and paste it over top. Um, I do have wood glue that is for outside use, so I'm gonna try to use cork uh, because it will bend, so we'll see how that holds up. I think you can use cork outside. Um, so what I plan on doing is cutting a piece. I keep trying to think of like something to put on that that would make sense. Um, so I think I'm gonna make it say small potatoes. Here's where I'm at. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but basically I took my piece of cork, taped it to the table, I took my scrap cardboard that I had just to kind of get my spacing straight. Um, I smelled out small potatoes to see how big it would end up being. I taped it off. I used the tape as my guide when placing the templates down to trace. Um, I lined up the tape with the top of each stencil. So I've got my small potatoes written out. I'm going to go back with a Sharpie and color it all in. This was kind of painstaking. Um, I didn't want to color everything in until I got my spacing because if I goofed and had to start over, I didn't want to have everything colored. But basically, I have a 16 inch piece. Uh, potatoes takes up 15 inches, so I only have like a half an inch on each side, and I centered it. So these are the basic steps. If you see what I did and you want to duplicate it, I don't want to completely lose you without giving you some direction. You might see this and decide you want to do something completely different, and that's totally up to you. My videos are mainly just to inspire um, and to keep people from throwing things away that might still have use. So, okay, I'm gonna take my black Sharpie, color all of this in. I, when I was searching through my drawer of, I have a drawer that has stencils, I found these little ovals and I thought that with the scrap cork that I have, it might be really cute to maybe make some little potatoes and put some dots and then glue those somehow. So I'm going to be doing that as well. I'm just gonna continue and I will come back on and show you the next step. Okay, here's my small potatoes. It's going to go right here. I think it might be really smart to take one of my sanders or like an angle grinder and kind of rough this up a little bit. Um, and I'm thinking that what I'll do is use, because um, I don't know how this is going to stick being it's plastic, but I think it might be a good idea to use the outdoor wood glue as well as like a shot, a couple shots of hot glue. Um, to kind of stick it on there and then that way the hot glue will hold it in place as the wood glue dries. So anyway, um, also what would be really smart is to go through here and drill a couple drainage holes. I'm going to do one kind of as a test. I have a really small bit on here right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm honestly guesstimating how big the drainage holes should be, how many there should be. I don't want my soil to run out, but it is gonna be on an upstairs terrace, which is not covered. So whenever it rains, this is gonna take on water. So the last thing I wanna do is have my plants 
not have proper drainage and be saturated. So I'm just gonna do one pull as a test. Okay, so that looks like it left a very nice clean drill hole. Okay, there's my little drill hole. I was afraid it was gonna leave plastic like kind of facing up, but it is not the case. Um, I think that I like how small that is, but I think it needs a whole bunch more. So I'm just gonna add a bunch more. I did take my sander. I roughed this up just a little bit. Um, I think that might help. I don't know if it has any bearing at all. I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up completely. I ended up, uh, some of this was off camera because I'm also filming a TikTok, but I drilled a whole bunch of holes, as you can see in the bottom. And I went small. I can always make them larger if I need to. Um, but I did a bunch of them, and what I plan on doing is adding rocks in the bottom, and then um, I'm going to plant some potatoes. I bought a bag. Hopefully, it's enough of soil. If not, I can go dig some up from my yard. But um, what you do when you plant potatoes, I have a bunch that I bought that we didn't eat that have eyes on them. So you just basically put the soil in, put some potatoes, um, do a little bit more, you know, the eyes will eventually grow and produce more potatoes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but let's see, next up is gluing this on. Okay, so this is ultimate. I love tight bond. Um, this is wood glue. It's waterproof, goes on the exterior and also for interior. The hot glue made it a little bumpy. I wouldn't suggest that. But I think what I will do next is tape that so that it lays flat and I'm gonna put it out in the sun to dry. This definitely needed something. It just was a little bit too blah. So I have extra rope that is from something, I don't even know what, uh, that was old. I'm gonna glue it around the border. It gives it a nice pop. And I think that also with that hot glue being on there, it might give this a little bit more stability. We will find out. Okay, here's what I have so far. I went ahead and cut little potatoes and hot glued them on. They seem to be sticking pretty well. Um, we'll see how it holds up in the weather. Luckily, there's a lip here that when the rain does hit, hopefully it protects this a little bit. But I went ahead and decorated it. And um, if that does come off down the road, then at least the basic function is still good. It will still grow potatoes. So I'm gonna take it up to my terrace. I'm gonna take up some rocks to put in first, some soil, I'll get my potatoes, and then I will film that. So I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, here I am up on my balcony. The wind, for whatever reason, it knows I'm trying to film and has picked up. So as far as doing any kind of instructions, it's really gonna make this difficult. What I'm gonna do is put rocks in first and then a layer of soil, layer of potatoes, and then repeat the soil and potatoes um, just to add a little bit of greenery so that I'm not looking at basically a shop vac filled with dirt. I'm going to finish it off with mint and with lemon so that it looks pretty. So all the potatoes are planted and the last thing to do is to put the herbs on top. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope it inspires you to take something that would have ended up in a landfill or got thrown away and repurpose it. If you do, please message me on Instagram and share a picture with me. Um, I might do a video in the future on TikTok showing some of my followers projects. So I thank you for watching and until next time, take care.